As Zimbabwe gears for the polls, opposition members have been arrested and events by opposition party CCC blocked. Zimbabweans will vote on August 23rd to elect the president, legislature and municipal councils. On July 15th, Coalition for Change or CCC supporters handed out election flyers in Harare when riot police ordered them to disperse. We are not happy at all because we want to distribute flyers, but we are being blocked by the police. We want people to know their candidates and we want to be freed from this suffering. Right now, we do not even have running water. Zimbabwe is grappling with inflation, corruption and the effects of U.S. and European sanctions. In a nation dominated since independence by the ZANU-PF party, this analyst doesn't expect the vote to be free and fair. I've never seen a presidential candidate so desperate to win as Emmanuel Mnangagwa has been. And it, it has to do all with the fear that if one loses state power, then uh, what's your future? But I doubt there'll be free, fair and credible elections. I doubt already. It's a, it's, it's a uh, two out of ten, <coughs> you know. Um, come election day, well, we're in for another disputed election. It's history repeating itself, sadly. Twelve candidates have set their sights on the presidency, but the competition is essentially a race between two men a generation apart. President Emerson Nangagwa is squaring off against Nelson Chamisa of the CCC.